In this video, we're going to talk about setting the mode groups up for your new CWF Peanut Quantum Driver Flashlight. This flashlight makes setting up the different modes to your flashlight a snap. Really easy and really fast. The new Quantum Driver is basically defaulting to programming the different mode groups when you enter programming mode. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap the back of the flashlight rapidly until you see it enter programming mode and I'll show you that now. So let's first talk about what a tap is. This button on the back here, which is called a forward clicky, you can actually press it a little bit. Let's get a good focus on this. Okay, you can press it in a little bit and it will come on and if I let go, it comes off. Now notice there was no click. So watch that again. Press a little bit, the light comes on. Now if I push further, you'll hear a click. So that's important to understand that there is a tap and a tap means like a half press without the click latching. And then there's a full click, which means you go all the way in until you hear that. All right. Now, knowing that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna Tap, 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 about 12 plus times. So you can go like 20 or 30 if you want to. But what I like to do is like to turn the flashlight towards me so I can see the ind indicators over here. And I just go tap, 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 tap. And when I see it start to do that, see that right there where it's like kind of like kind of flashing, then I just hold it in. And did you see it kind of do some stuff and then like fade out? Well, let's talk about that now. But I've entered programming mode at that point. Now, once you're in programming mode, you're going to wait for it to flash and then it's going to ramp down. You're going to see it actually go from brighter to dimmer. Okay, so I'll watch this and let's dissect it for a second. So tap, 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 tap. Okay, I see it. So now I'm holding it. Now watch flash and then it ramps down. Okay, when you get to the ramp down and then the colors after that, you will see flashes. And the flashes you see indicate the possible mode groups that you can enter. So right now, I'm set to mode group one. What's a mode group? Well, mode group means that the flashlight is set up to do these different functions in order. So if I tap, I go to color, then moonlight, then 5%, 15, 35, 50, and 100. So mode group one will go through all these different modes and there's seven of them. Now let's say seven seemed like a lot and what I wanted was just white only. I didn't want the colored secondaries and I just wanted, let's say 15% and 100%. So just 15 for standard work and 100 when I wanted to blast. So that means I wanna set the light to mode group seven, okay? Cause seven will set me to 15 and 100 only. So what we're going to do is tap, 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 hold. Now let it do its ramping down and all that. Now notice that it is going to flash once. Flash twice. See that? We're looking at the white now. Flash three times. Now once I see it flash seven times, I'm going to let up and tap again to confirm I want mode group seven. And that's gonna happen in the colored lights in the interlude here. So here we go, we're almost there. Now watch the number here. Two, three, four, six, seven. Here's colored lights and tap. And now that I let up and tapped, I have locked in that mode group. So watch, when I click, I'm at 15, and I click again, I'm at 100. 15, 100, 15, 100, 15, 100. only two. So let's try and do mode group 10 now, okay, which is color in 100, all right? So I'm going to tap, 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 and I'll just hold, I'm just holding that tap in. I'm not clicking it, but I'm holding it in, and I'm going to let this go through all its different flashes and all its different colors, and remember, you're waiting till you see 10 flashes, and then in the colored space after the 10 flashes is when you're going to briefly let up and tap and hold to confirm. All right, so let me count along right now what's going on because I kind of lost track while I was talking. 
Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, that was six. So I got a couple more to go. This is two, three, four, six, seven. All right. Next one should be eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, go one more. I don't even have to count at this point. I know this is going to be nine. And I know that after the colored lights, we're going to see ten flashes. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait for the colors. Let up, tap. Okay? So now I can actually let go, you know, turn it off. And I will be color and then 100%. Color and then 100%. There it is. Color 100, color 100. All right, that's how easy it is to program your new Charles Wiggins flashlight, the peanut. Just do those rapid taps, as I said, hold the button in, wait till you see the right number of white flashes, then let up briefly and tap in and you're set. If you would like to know more about this driver, because it does a lot of extra things, like changing the secondary auxes or changing whether mode memory is on, then check out the video I've got linked above right here, right now. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.